2-2. Skytteholm, Solna, Sweden for Lennart Johansson Academy Trophy. And uh, we have uh, the third place game in the boys 98 between Georgia national team and Ajax ahead of us. Uh, we just saw Ajax uh, lineup and here is the Georgian lineup. Uh, we were not uh, allowed to broadcast the two finals in the boys 98 and the boys 97. Uh, just a couple of minutes ago, the Georgia national team uh, won the boys 97 final over Juventus 1-0. And a couple of hours ago in the boys 98 finals, AC Milan won 3-0 against Pauk. As I said, this is uh, a game for third place, uh, boys 98, and uh, the Georgia national team uh, lost their semifinal 1-0 against Pauk, while Ajax uh, had huge problems with their uh, offside trap, and they lost 5-0 against AC Milan. All of those five goals came after uh, failed offside traps. But uh, I guess that's just uh, part of uh, the Ajax Academy. They don't care about the results. They want to educate their players. And here we go. Ajax are uh, playing in uh, blue jerseys and uh, to join the national team in red. In the, the group stage, both uh, Georgia and Ajax ended up second place. So uh, maybe it's fair that they also play this uh, game for third place. Uh, I myself have been quite impressed by uh, the Ajax team, who uh, I think play uh, maybe the best football in the tournament. There's an offside on Georgia. They play uh, pretty much exactly like uh, their first team always has played with a 4-3-3 formation and uh, a quick passing game along the ground. While uh, Georgia are a little bit more careful in their defensive organization and uh, maybe opt for a more counter-attack style play. Here's a dangerous opportunity for, uh, for Georgia, but uh, nice play by uh, number three, defensive play by number three in Ajax, Seruki, the captain. As I uh, said before, we were not allowed to uh, broadcast uh, the, the finals. Uh, those finals were broadcasted on uh, Swedish television, TV4 Sport. And uh, because of legal issues, we could not broadcast those games, which I apologize for. This is the last game in the tournament and we will have uh, an award ceremony I believe uh, sometime around 12.45 free kick Ajax Ajax who most of their players are short but have excellent technique and uh, the Georgian national team feels a little bit more physical they're bigger players and it will be interesting to see how how they match up here's Georgia in a good attack couple of players inside the box Ajax has a, a 
a good uh, attacking formation where number nine, Hornkamp, plays in the number nine role, center forward, and then uh, two wingers. In uh, Mestevit, number 11 and number 7, Kenneth Aninkora. They also have a classic number 10 player. Javario Dilurosson, who's kind of a playmaker. The game against uh, AC Milan that Ajax lost 5 0. They, as I said, they. Here's a, a dangerous opportunity for Georgia. He's along with the keeper, and we have a penalty, I believe. We have a penalty. Georgia player was alone with the keeper and he was tripped from behind. Here's the, the replay. And, uh, well, yeah, that that's a short penalty, I think. The Ajax keeper makes the save to no avail. Here's the penalty. It's number 10, Varde Vashili. Luca Varde Vashili. Here's the shot. No problem for Varde Vashili. 1-0 Georgia. No mistake from Varda Vashili. Waits for the goalkeeper's move and puts the ball in the other corner. Now Ajax has to go on the offensive. Ajax stand inside the box. Corner kick. It was Kenneth Aninkora who almost could get the cross in. Mestevit. Georgia again and uh, we see that Ajax continued to play with the with their offside traps, and this is an example of what uh, they did against uh, Milan. And uh, Milan had about, I think, maybe ten ten breakaways from the halfway line, where they were alone with the goalkeeper and scored on five of those. Born camp. Fleming. You can see that the, the bigger and more physical uh, Georgian players wins a lot of the of the battles on the midfield. Dilroson. Georgia again in a, a quick counter. This time the Ajax back four can play the ball back to the goalkeeper.
Ajax then. Dillerson. Left shot. Pretty good shot from Dillerson. It was deflected on the Georgia player. And it's a corner kick. Cross towards the first post. It's cleared by uh, Georgia. This game is played in two halves, uh, I believe, 25 minutes each. The finals, uh, or the tournament has been played. Uh, in uh, two halves, 25 minutes each, but uh, the finals were played in 30 minutes at halves. But I believe that the third place game, uh, they have gone back to 25 minutes. And uh, if we have a draw, the, there will be penalties, five penalties for each team. At the moment, Georgia in the lead, 1-0. The goal in the sixth minute from Varde Vasili, number 10, on penalty. Ajax stand on the right flank, Mestivit. The cross. Nice defending from number four, Ruslan Bedjevi, also captain. Georgia then, nice opportunity. There's an Ajax player and then there's a pass back from the Ajax player, but the referee lets play go on. Dilrosun was looking for uh, either uh, Mestivit. or uh, Matthias Delit. Nice pass. Ajax goalkeeper is away from his goal. Jeffrey De Lans living dangerously there. We have an offside. Jeffrey De Lans, he has played like this uh, the whole tournament where he uh, acts almost uh, like a sweeper. Playing far away from his own goal. We also have a yellow card on uh, number 11 in uh, Georgia, Vato Arvedlatse. Nice ball towards uh, Hornkamp, he's alone with the keeper in the shot. Good save by goalkeeper Shoshkvili. Some nice fine intentions from uh, the Ajax team. Who hardly ever plays the long ball. That's uh, why I have them as one of the most attractive teams to watch in this tournament. Ilrosson, nice flick. Angen Kora. Nadabi. Ilrosson.
Georgian back four is uh, strong and physical, especially number four, uh, the captain, Bedievi. They're hard to pass. The ball must have it. Was uh, Matthias De Ligt who uh, had a good opportunity but missed the ball when he tried to get the shot off. Ten minutes left of the first half. Georgia in the lead. So far this game has been uh, evenly balanced. In the group stage, uh, both teams played three games. Ajax uh, won 4-0 against Honka. Then they lost 2-0 against Pauk uh, before they finished the group stage with a 6-0 victory over AIK Sweden. And national team of Georgia, they started the tournament by beating uh, HJK Helsinki 5 to 1. Thereafter, they won 1 0 against uh, Lyngby of Denmark uh, before losing 7 to 1 against AC Milan in a game where uh, Georgia benched a lot of their best players. And then, of course, Georgia lost 1 0 against Pauk in the semi final, and Ajax were chanceless against uh, Milan and they lost Georgia, another ball behind the back line of uh, Ajax, and we, we have an opportunity here. 2 0 Georgia. 2 0 Georgia. Alone with the goalkeeper. No mistake. And it just squeezes in by the post. Nice finish. The seventeenth minute. I believe it was number eight, Moshvishvili. Well, uh, see what the speaker has to say about it. Moshvishvili. Goal scorer. And uh, Ajax continues to try the offside trap and uh, continue to, to fail. But as I said, Ajax Academy is mostly about education and uh, fostering eventual first team players in the future.
Suzuki. Pass to Master Witt. Ja, Master Witt. Cannot handle the ball properly. And we have a throw in Georgia. So far, the more physical game of uh, Georgia has paid off, where they often win the ball on the midfield and then immediately put it behind the uh, Ajax back four. And uh, since there is a lot of space there, they have been able to create some good opportunities, which has eventually led to uh, two goals. Here's the cross. Dil Rosson. Mavabi. And the shot. Matthias De Ligt. Four minutes to go the first half. 2-0 lead for the national team of Georgia and uh, so far we have to say it's deserved Ajax play attractive football but they are toothless offensively fine ball And in Cora, can he beat his uh, defender? Good cross, Hornkamp. Good sequence from Ajax where they got the ball out wide and then And in Cora put in a nice cross. Danny De Witt, Anin Kora, another throw in. Mest De Witt against two defenders. And uh, Mest De Witt is awarded a free kick. Ajax has uh, often had the ball in and around the, the Georgian uh, penalty area, but they ha are having problems getting the ball into the box. This is an excellent opportunity to do, do just that. Fleming towards the far post, but it runs out to a goal kick.
Hornkamp can't get control of the ball. Dilrosun. Nice turn from Dilrosun. Handball and uh, free kick Ajax. Mr. Witt again against two defenders. And there we have it. The first half ha has come to an end. And we have Georgia in the lead 2 0. Goal scorers. Farid Vashili and Mosh Devilishili. Uh, now we'll have a couple of minutes break and we will I will be back shortly. The second half has started. This is the third place game between the national team of Georgia in red and Ajax in blue. And we have a scoreline of 2-0 Georgia after the first half. Goal scorers in the th sixth minute, Varda Vashili, and in the 17th minute, Moshtivi Shili. And uh, once again, uh, Ajax were penalized. Here we have uh, 
an opportunity for Ajax. Uh, Georgia can uh, clear the ball, but we have a free kick in a, a nice position. Ajax were penalized for uh, their offside trap, which they have been practicing the whole tournament. Often uh, up at the halfway line, so there have been lots and lots of space behind the back four, which the opponents has been able to utilize. And so has been the case in this game as well. Here we have uh, a good position for a free kick. It is Fleming and uh, Dilrosun. Dilrosun with the left foot. Uh, good effort from uh, Dilrosun, but just wide of the post. Here's another opportunity for Georgia, along with the goalkeeper. No mistake, 3-0 Georgia. Irakli Beritze. Alone with the keeper on the breakaway. And uh, Jeffrey Delance in the Ajax goal is without a chance. Another of uh, these types of goals I've been telling you about where Ajax are naive defensively. I would say that uh, maybe 80 or 90 percent of all the goals uh, Ajax has conceded has uh, been considered the same way where uh, the opponents have had breakaways from the halfway line and uh, Jeffrey Delance in uh, the Ajax goal has had a tough tournament it's not easy for a goalkeeper to face opponents one on one five times every game Handball on Fleming. Good run on the left hand side by the Georgian player and uh, Rami Seruki brings uh, the Georgia player down and it's a free kick. Nika Kvantasiani with the right foot. Here's the shot. Good technique there from uh, Varde Vasili. Georgia again. Is he offside? He's onside. Oh, he is offside. The flag was up. Mestevit, offside. Good ball from uh, number six, Arda Shivili. And Georgia again into the box, here's the shot. Nice save by uh, Jeffrey Delance. Good for uh, Delance, uh, the confidence of uh, Delance. And 
these set pieces. Georgia have a an, uh, considerable advantage. As we can see, they are almost all head higher than uh, their opponent. Here's the cross. Calm and collected by uh, the Lance. Showing good technique for a goalkeeper. On in Cora. One camp. Dil Rosun. Here's the cross. Ooh, Ajax are very close to cutting the deficit. It's uh, number six, Danny De Witt. After uh, a blunder by the goalkeeper, uh, Shoshishvili. Danny De Witt uh, gets the opportunity, but uh, he gets tackled uh, at the moment of the shot. And uh, it goes outside the post. Best opportunity for uh, Ajax in the game. The De Witt uh, is hurt apparently. It's its left leg. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. De Witt is on his feet. And the Ajax will make a substitution. Play is resumed. De Vals almost up to the halfway line when he clears that ball. On, looking for a uh, horn camp, maybe. Horn camp. Good period now from Ajax. Horn camp again with the shot. Well executed attack by uh, Ajax. Fleming with a bit of space. Can I test the shot? Yes, he does. No problem for Shoshishvili. And uh, I believe we had the back pass back to the goalkeeper there. Uh, I was looking down into my papers, but it is an indirect free kick uh, inside the box. A good opportunity for uh, Ajax. Either uh, a pass uh, back from uh, a Georgia player to the Georgia goalkeeper or the Georgian goalkeeper dropped the ball and then picked it up. We'll see. It's Fleming and Del Rosun at the ball. And 
it, since it's indirect, you can't shoot uh, straight at the goal. You have to pass it first, and it does. There's the shot, and it's saved on the goal line. Rami Seruki with the shot. And we get a counter attack. And once again, the Lance is living dangerously. We have a, a, an injury to a Georgia player on the other half of the pitch. You can't see it at the moment. But one of the Georgian players uh, is down and he is about to get treatment. This uh, number three, Nicolosi Kurshavishili, is led off the pitch and uh, play will resume. Georgia number three, he entered the pitch, but uh, the referee waved him off again. As uh, Ajax is on the attack, it's Flaming. Georgia will counter attack. Saved by the Vals. And now uh, Georgia is right back. Number three, Kursashvili is back on the pitch. Flaming, good ball from Flaming. Valen. Daniel Valen, who had some success in uh, the group stage. But started this game on the bench. He's now on the pitch. A little over 10 minutes left of this game. Georgia in a comfortable 3-0 lead and it can grow bigger as we have three Georgia players alone with the goalkeeper. It's the pass. 4-0 Georgia. Three players alone with the Ajax goalkeeper and uh, the Vans seem to have control of the situation but there's the pass and then um, a shot. A bit risky of a shot but it's still in the goal by the post. And the goal scorer Irakli Buritse. Free kick Ajax, see if uh, they can 
get a consolation goal. It's evident that uh, the more physical uh, Georgia team is too much for uh, Ajax. Here's the cross. Good, uh, good save there by Shoshishvili. He did good to uh, hold on to that ball. It's another breakaway for Georgia. Along with Evans and 5 0. Once again, it's uh, Ratti Ardashivili who, who breaks away from the halfway line. And no chance for the Lance in uh, the Ajax goal. Georgia again, the shot, saved by Devans, nice save by uh, Devans. There's no doubt that individually the Ajax uh, players are at least as good as uh, the Georgian players, but with the Georgian players being a lot bigger and more physical, Ajax cannot, they don't have an answer for that. Rookie. Ajax. Good shot from Ajax. Saved by Shoshishvili. Georgia makes a couple of substitutions, giving playing time to some of the bench players here during the last uh, five minutes. Good ball out to the right hand side, here's the cross. Valen, Fleming. Nice move from the Ajax number four. Here's the shot. Daniel Valen with the shot, but uh, Shoshishvili with another nice save. Georgia winning everything in the air. 
Cherokee Valen. Fleming, nice tackle by uh, number eight Fleming. Who's kind of the motor on uh, the midfield for Ajax. George again, number 18 inside the box. Nice move. And the shot. 6-0 Georgia. It is uh, Buritza again. Hat-trick for Buritza. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, Buritza scored all of his goals in the second half, with, which may means this is a true hat-trick. Of course, there was another goal scorer in between, but almost a, a, a true, true, true hat-trick. Nice move by Buritze, who uh, utilized his uh, size and uh, speed to uh, get himself past the Ajax defenders. One and a half minute to go. And Georgia will secure third place in the 98th age group behind the winners AC Milan and uh, Pauk of Greece. Shoshishvili, Bedievi, Fleming, good control. Dilrosan, good move by Ajax, but Shoshishvili grabs it first. Free kick Ajax, and uh, there should only be maybe a minute left of this game. Georgia winning this game comfortably against uh, Ajax 
Valde Vashili in the sixth minute. Moshtivilshili. Buridze with a hat trick and Arda Shivili. The goal scorers. And there's the final whistle. Georgia ends up third after beating Ajax 6 0. And uh, we will have a an award ceremony in uh, five minutes, around five minutes, and uh, we will, of course, broadcast that. I'll be back shortly.
Christ ceremony. And first of all, I would like to say thank you to all of you who make this sermon uh, so good and so fine and with good results and a very good support machine from all of the team. Ajax, Bedank, Modi Kolasi, Mokka, Kitos, Georgia, Madlova, Juventus, Emilia, Gracias, Parkmane, and Fana de Vico, Fana de And we'll come back next year. We will start with a fair play. And, uh, I'm back with uh, the awards ceremony and uh, we start off with uh, the 98 age group and the first award goes to the f is the fair play prize and it is the Ajax team that uh, will receive this fine award and I Myself consider Ajax maybe to be the most exciting team to watch this uh, this tournament of all the teams in both age groups. Fair place award uh, for boys 98 Ajax. And now we have the fair play prize for the 97 age group. And the 97 age group fair praise award goes to Panetolikos of Greece. Panetolikos had problems in the group stage, you can say. They lost all the, of their games, but uh, they showed good spirit and thus get the fair prize award. And uh, the master of this award ceremony handing out the prizes is... Lennart Johansson, the former UEFA president and also vice president of FIFA. And he has also landed his name to this tournament, the Lennart Johansson Academy Trophy. You see the Panetolikos uh, player and uh, getting the award there. Now we have the best player award. And uh, the best player in the age group of 98 goes to AC Milan player Michel Modic. Michel Modic uh, played on the left wing. And uh, for the first couple of games, we didn't have his name. We called him number 20, but uh, it is Michel Modic. Now we move on to the best player award in for boys 97. And it goes, of course, to the Georgia forward number 10. Jordi Yobava, who was, in my opinion, outstanding in uh, this uh, tournament. He plays, played as a lone center forward for uh, Georgia, and uh, he had a big part in them winning the tournament. And then for uh, the cup and the medal prizes. Now we move on to the medal prizes. And third place, boys 98, national team of uh, Georgia. Bronze medals for uh, for Georgia, led by their their captain number four, Roslan Bedievi. They of course beat Ajax 6-0 in the game we just watched a couple of minutes ago. The second prize, boys 98. Lennart Johansson will hand out the trophy to Pauk from Greece. Pauk lost in the final 3-0 but uh, made a uh, fine performance in this tournament and they are shared on by their supporters. They have quite a few supporters here.
And then, of course, next we will have the winners in boys 98. And of course it is AC Milan from Italy who beat Pauk 3-0 in the final and uh, was no doubt the best team in the tournament. Good tournament by AC Milan, who of course is the home of uh, Swedish star Slatan Ibrahimovic at the moment. So maybe these guys can uh, show the the trophy to him and the rest of the first team players. Fourth in uh, boys 98 age group then was uh, Ajax of course uh, who received the fair play award. And now we're going to listen to the national anthem of Italy. And AC Milan get the rightful applause from the crowd after the national anthem of Italy. Winners of the 98 age group, AC Milan. Now we move on to boys 97. for uh, all of the teams to uh, in the 98 age 97 age group excuse me to uh, arrive on the pitch we have uh, Georgia standing behind uh, Leonard Johansson and the trophies at the moment and uh, now we see AIK moving in to the right 
And of course, Juventus moving into the left. Third place, boys 97 are AIK, the host club, and uh, they beat uh, Sturmgras 5-2 to uh, win uh, this third place. They had a good tournament, AIK, but... Uh, Failed to reach the final, but uh, third place second has to be place, considered okay. Second place from Italy, we have Juventus, Juventus Turin. La Vecchia Signora played uh, typical Italian football. They were all good on the ball and were well organized all over the pitch. Of course then, there's only the winners left, boys 97, the national team of Georgia. Who won uh, a close final, a well played close final against Juventus 1-0 to take the title. National team of Georgia, led by player of the tournament, Jordi Yobava. The third winners of this tournament showed uh, great tactical skills and uh, were also well organized all over the pitch, but had uh, individual skill as well. Here's the national anthem of Georgia. There we have it, the winners of the boys 98, 97 age group, the national team of Georgia. And of course we give a big congratulations to all of the teams. And thank you for their entertainment. And we also thank all of our viewers and hope you had a good time. And uh, thank you very much. We say goodbye and uh, 
Have a pleasant day here from Sweden. Bye-bye.